I'm working in the New Perspectives Microsoft Access 2010 textbook. I'm in Tutorial 2 and I'm picking up on page AC77. The earlier video on creating the invoice table is the start of this segment. This is essentially segment 2 and in this segment I'm going to import data from an Excel spreadsheet. So what I need to do first is make sure that this table has been closed. So I'll click the X to close it and I'm going to click on the cre excuse me I'm going to click on the external data tab I'm going to click on Excel and why we have these differences I'm going to cancel out of this in earlier versions of Ask Access we could click on the import and we'd be prompted to change the file extension what Access has done for us now is by making it's so that we can click on Excel, Access, or Text Files, XML Files, is that it puts in the file extension for us. So I'll click on Excel. So it's going to be looking for an Excel workbook. And I have to browse out to where I've located my data. And my data is on my desktop. And it's in a folder called Access Level 1 Tutorial. And there is the Invoices workbook. And I'll click on Open to open it. And now do I want to import it in as a new table or do I want to append a copy of the records to an existing table? Another option here is I could link to the data source. We'll be getting into that in the second half of the book. I want to append a copy of the records to my invoice table. So I'm going to click Append. I'll click the drop down arrow and make sure that I've chosen the invoice table. Click OK. And the wizard's going to start up and it's going to walk me through the steps and basically show me what my data looks like. And since we just created the invoice table, we know that this data looks familiar. We've got the invoice num, contract num, invoice date, invoice item, invoice amount, and invoice paid. Now if your fields are not in the same order, this is not going to work. So make sure that your fields match the order that you see here. I'm going to click Next, and it's going to remind me again I'm going to import to the invoice table. For what I like the, anal the wizard to analyze my table. The wizard will analyze a table and let you know whether or not the wizard thinks it's normalized, something that we discussed in the first part of Tutorial 2. We're going to, going to leave that alone. I'll click Finish. And I'm getting a message here, an informational message, that's telling me that the field contract num doesn't exist in the destination table invoice. What this is telling me is that there's something wrong with that field. And Access will not import from an Excel workbook if the fields have names that don't match. So I'm going to have to go into my table and make sure that my table actually has a field named contract num, that I didn't misspell it. So I'll say OK. I'll click OK. I'll cancel. Now I'm going to open up this field in Design View, or open up this table in Design View, and look at that field. Well, it looks like I screwed up. I have a space there. So I'm going to take that space out, save my table, close the table, and I'm going to try importing that external data again. I'll just go through the same steps. Invoice. Make sure that it's a pen to invoice. OK. Let it go through. Now, do I want to save the import steps? You would save the import steps if this is the type of thing that you're going to do on a regular basis. Like you get a download from your HR department or your accounting department, something that you bring into your database on a monthly basis, weekly basis, then you'd probably want to save the import steps. So you could just simply run the import every time instead of going out and, and going through these steps. Right now we don't need to. So I'll click on Close and I'm going to open up the table and this time I'm going to open it up in datasheet view and according to our textbook we should have 176 records we had four in we imported 172 I do have that you can see that my field widths my column widths are not wide enough I'm going to try to resize that because my window is so small it's not really going to work quite very well. And then I need to scroll down because Access only resizes the column to the current view. It only resizes to what it currently sees, what's displayed in the window. It doesn't resize the whole column to fit. 
So I'll resize again. And it looks like it's fine now. And since I changed the design of the table by resizing the column width, I need to save the table again. So I'll save it, close it, and that's the end of this 